Whether you have a mechanical shift like this, or you have a digital electronic shift like other outboards, they all pretty much shift the same way. Now let's go through how exactly the shifting process works, all the components to it, and how you could troubleshoot if you have a shifting issue. We have a video going over all of these components here that are inside of the lower unit, and you can check that out to know more about how these all work together. But for now, let's go talk about how this right here shifts back and forth based on your lower unit. This right here is a prop shaft, and this is what is inside of your lower unit. Right here is your reverse gear, and this is your forward gear. And that right there is your clutch dog, which is what is going to shift the engine into gear and which gear you choose. If you see, there are teeth on that clutch dog, and there are also teeth on this gear right here. Those teeth engage to each other whenever you shift it with this rod right here. That moves that clutch dog back and forth, and that engages this into gear. So depending on which gear you put it in, that rod is going to move back and forth to move your clutch dog into forward gear or reverse gear. Whether that shifting is going to be like this right here, which pushes up and down to move that rod in, or you have a turn style, which is what we have outside, and that's going to go back and forth as you turn the shift shaft back and forth. So let's talk about the turning of that shift shaft. So you have two main types of shifting being either a push or a pull. Usually it is talking about going into forward gear. So this control box right here, if you watch this cable here, that is the shift cable. When we shift it, you see how it pulls it up. That means that this is a pull style of control box. Usually this is changed for either left or right handed rotation. And then you notice to go to reverse, it pushes it down. And then obviously your throttle is going to go based on as you advance and how you want it to go. So that shifting mechanism right there, either reverse pushes the cable down, neutral in the middle, pulls it up for forward, and that's how it goes into gear. Now let's go back here and talk about how that works in the back of the engine. Now back here you have both the cables coming into the outboard. You'll notice this one right here is going to be your shift. And this one right here is going to be connected to a linkage like this, which is going to be your throttle that will go and move your throttle plates either on your carburetors or whatever. Which means that this is our throttle cable and this is our shift cable. And you'll notice that on our shift cable there is a little clip here and we need to pull that out in order to get our shift cable off something else you're going to want to notice is right here you see how they're let me pull the cable off so our cable should just slide off like this notice how it just slides on and off really easy without having to move that shift mechanism that is super important but also once the cable is off you notice right here there's a little arrow and there's a little notch here on the shift mechanism that should be pretty close to being even with each other it can be a little bit off especially as things get older and again this is a mechanical cable shift so it doesn't need to be perfect but this is our shift cable you can adjust this shift cable by undoing that nut and this will either go in and out um, this little end right here will go in and out on that cable in order to adjust it and again you want it to adjust with it in this locking mechanism to where this will just slide on and off of here easily with those two lined up and that's pretty much how you adjust your shift cable we'll unclip this and get this cable out of here so we can talk a little bit more about the shift mechanism okay now that we can see everything nice and open down here if you have a shifting issue you do not have to disconnect all of this stuff all you need to do is come back here to the engine and pull that clip out and pull the cable off of there and that'll be the first thing that we need to do to troubleshoot Remember, this is a mechanical engine, and digital is basically the exact same with all the same components, minus the cable. There will be an actuator here that is controlled by the computer, and that is what is going to move this shift mechanism. But in here, you'll see this. What we'll want to do is try and shift this by hand and see if it shifts, if you have a shifting issue. So you remember the clutch dog inside of here? That clutch dog is going back and forth you're going to have tension on this mechanism when you go to try and shift it because those teeth on the clutch dog are going to be hitting each other so you see how those teeth are hitting each other and it's not going all the way down there's a gap there until you spin the propeller shaft it won't go into gear like that so that's what's binding up down there is that clutch dog so you're going to need to turn the propeller in order to move the teeth on the clutch dog to line up properly so if you try and shift this like this and we kick the propeller, it'll go right into gear. See that? And then it'll go back, back to neutral. We go to forward, you can see how it's, it's not letting me, 
But if I go down here and I move the propeller, it went right into gear. Easy peasy. Now it's in gear. Thing's gonna click because it rolls over. So like that, that's normal. Don't worry about that. If you hear a clicking sound like that, that is normal. But it is in gear, you can't move it. If I shift it back to neutral, back to neutral, back to gear, I'm in gear. And you'll be able to turn the engine over with the propeller. Notice how the flywheel is turning over. So that's the first thing that we want to do in order to test something to see if this will shift by hand. And if this is all shifting like normal, what you can do is start and run the engine. Don't get anywhere near the propeller, but then take your hand, pliers, whatever. Sometimes this is a little bit stiffer than other times. And you're gonna to want to shift this by hand with the engine running and see if it will shift back and forth. Because if it won't, you'll notice this shift mechanism here is moving that rod right there. And if you look back in there, you can see it's spinning a rod. So now you can see that rod right there. As we shift it, it turns that rod back and forth. So different outboards are gonna have a different setup and there's usually a bushing right there. You don't really see a bushing on this model, but sometimes that bushing will get salt, corrosion, and other stuff around it, which will tighten up around the shift shaft and that will make it very hard to shift. So if you are struggling to shift this, it should be easy like that. With my hand, I can just move it back and forth. It should be easy like that. If it's not, you probably have something that's binding up in here between here and the lower unit. So let me pull the lower unit so you can see the bottom of the shift shaft and how that mechanism works because the shift shaft is right here. So that right there is going to spin and sometimes up in here there is a bushing or a grease fitting or something like that that has gotten too much salt, too much corrosion, too much junk on it and that is binding up and stopping you from being able to shift back and forth. So you can see as I shift it, so when I turn this this way, that puts that in gear. When I turn it back to neutral, it's not in gear. Turn it back to there, I'm in gear. So that's kind of the shifting back and forth with the turn of this. Gear, neutral, gear. So you can see it a little bit better as we turn it back and forth. And that's how she's gonna shift. Now, up in here you got the same thing, so you see that shift shaft right there is just sitting here and that goes all the way up to here and then to that mechanism down there that we showed you earlier. So as you shift this, it goes back and forth really, really easy because there's nothing there. So that means that our shift mechanism from here to down here where the lower unit hooks up is all good, no problems. And that's kind of how you diagnose that as far as a shifting issue. Let me shift this here so you can see it spin. So if you've got a problem where your lower unit's not going all the way into gear, most likely there's a problem from here, the top of this, meaning that right there, there's a problem somewhere from here to here that's not going all the way back. It's probably not your lower unit that's the problem, it's the shifting in here. Most likely the cable is not pushing the mechanism back all the way. Something else to note about the shift shaft is that yes, you want to grease them. Of course, you want to grease this, you want to grease everything around here, the top of the drive shaft, all that stuff needs to be greased. At the same time, if you put too much grease on here and it builds up on the top of the shift shaft, when you stick it up into here, you can actually build up grease inside of here. So let me take my shifting tool to show you. So this right here, if you build up grease inside of there, it will actually, when you push the shift shaft in, it will push that whole rod up into the outboard. So that rod will get pushed all the way up and it will actually bind this mechanism right there. So down there, it'll put a bind on it because there's it's being pushed up by the, the force of the lower unit. 
so you want to make sure that you get all the grease and stuff cleaned out of here because that can cause you hard shifting now most of the time the problem is going to be with this cable being the shift cable they get old they get worn they get corroded around here they might have a cut in them where it's rusting and making tension so the problem is that if this shifts normal like this with by hand you don't have anything wrong with your engine but whenever you shift it with the cables disconnected you should be able to shift it back and forth and it might be smooth but as soon as you connect the cable to the engine all of a sudden it won't shift again nine times out of ten it's going to be that control cable and you're going to need to change the cable so i also need to point this out while we're here you see how that fitting is cracked or that adapter same thing for this one see how bad that is cracked sometimes those will crack and then the threads will pull out so that is something else you'll have to check within the control box to see if that could be a shifting issue as well now when it comes to a digital electronic shift everything is basically the same with the exception of some variations to this shift mechanism because there is a digital actuator that is controlled by the computer of the engine that tells the shift actuator to put it into either forward or reverse gear and that shift actuator will be sitting here or in the front and that will be what turns the shift shaft either left or right to put the lower unit into forward or reverse gear but inside the lower unit is basically identical to this same mechanical shift just with a digital actuator controlling it